La sangre mía el chocolate. <laughs> Ramon is part of the agronomy team at Conocado Co-op in the Dominican Republic. And like most of the members and staff of Conocado, he has grown up surrounded by cacao trees. The cacao tree is found in over 50 tropical countries and is estimated to be grown by two to two and a half million producers, 90% of whom are small-scale farmers with 12 acres of land or less. The farmers of Conocado, Eco Exchange's first cocoa partner since 2002, typically own around three hectares. Once a tree is planted, it can take up to five years before it produces cacao pods, and it can continue to have a high production on a yearly basis until it is 25 or 30 years old. Pods, which are the fruit from the tree, will begin to ripen five to six months after the tree flowers. Each pod contains 30 to 50 beans, the seeds of the fruit, surrounded by a sweet pulp. These beans are what ultimately gets transformed into chocolate. After harvesting the pods with machetes or harvesting poles, the pods are opened and the beans, still surrounded by the sweet pulp, are fermented to remove the mucilage, stop the bean from germinating, and to begin flavor development. The farmers of Conocado bring the beans to a central fermentation area where they are fermented in wooden boxes for a period up to six days. Then the beans are dried, bringing the humidity of the beans down for storage and export. Cacao beans are often dried in the sun, which can happen on tarps, mats, or patios. The dried beans are sent to a manufacturing plant, where they are cleaned to remove debris, then roasted to darken the color and to further bring out the flavor characteristics of the cacao. After roasting, the beans are winnowed to remove the shells from around the bean, leaving only the roasted cocoa nib, which is the key ingredient for making chocolate. After roasting and winnowing, the cocoa nibs are ground into a paste called chocolate liquor. The liquor is mechanically pressed to extract the cocoa butter, leaving a solid mass called cocoa press cake. The extracted cocoa butter can be used in chocolate bars and beauty products, while the press cake is milled from a solid into a fine cocoa powder that can be used for baking or to make hot cocoa. Conocado was founded in 1988 to support 700 farmers searching for opportunities to earn more money for their cacao beans. At the time, the Dominican cacao industry was dominated by low-quality, unprocessed beans mainly being sold to the U.S. for low-quality, mass-produced milk chocolate. The farmers of Conocado organized to see if they could develop a better flavored bean that could be sold to specialty markets. It worked. Since its initial years, Conocado has grown to over 8,000 farmer members and is now a leader in the organic and fair trade cocoa industries. In 2008, the farmers purchased a processing plant in the Dominican Republic to take their beans and transform them into semi-finished products, moving them up the supply chain and keeping more of the production, and thus more value, in the Dominican Republic. Farmer-owned production is a rarity in an industry dominated by a handful of large multinationals. Not only has Conocado improved the lives of its farmer members, it has also transformed the entire Dominican cacao industry, leading the way to higher quality products and making the Dominican Republic the world leader in organic cacao.